Have you ever considered playing in a tournament? I know there's a lot of anxiety that kind of goes along with it. And a lot of players don't play in tournaments because of that reason. Well, there's a way that you can desensitize yourself from the stress of having to think fast, make decisions fast. I mean, you should probably should do that in a regular game anyway, but it's a little more low key at a regular game. But in a tournament, you've got to make quick decisions. This is one reason why I like to do sprints. Siamese sprints. It helps me make quick decisions and it des desensitizes me from the anxiety, especially the anxiety that comes from making mistakes. Because you can recover from picks, picks and discards. Just recover. I'm going to do some sprints. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. As an average, I'll do three sprints. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps calm you down when you go to your next tournament. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to say we're the dealer for these sprints. We'll do three. Sprints will be laps one, three, and five. Laps two and four will be set up. So we'll do five laps. This smartphone app really helps. It's the stopwatch that came with the phone. You could use a regular stopwatch if you want to. So we'll get 28 tiles and start with sprint one. For this one, we have a pair of Norse, a Pung of Wes. We do have a Joker. I'm thinking we could maybe play a Quint. We have a pair there. I would try Quint right here. West, green, nine. Then down here, leverage the flowers. Maybe we could play an addition. Nine, three, eight, four, seven, five. Here's a 12. Seven, five. Seven, five, here's a 12. So 12 here, 12 here, fives and sevens. Joker bait, let's see. There is some 369 in there. I think this is what I would do though. Okay, Quint, addition with options. We could either do one suit or mixed suits with sevens, fives. Here's a seven there too. So basically we have six discards with joker bait and options. If you would do something different, write sprint one and what you would do. But I think this is what I would do. I like playing quints. I cannot lie. On to the next one. Okay, for this one, look at all those cracks. And also, look at these honors. I would play News with Dragons. News with Dragons. Maybe even dedicate these jokers. We're two away from News with Dragons up there. So we would have to get rid of that. And then down here, we have a pair of fours and a pair of ones. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's kind of a long shot though. I would definitely come up with an option. Four, five, four, five, consecutive run. Two, three, four, five, just save all the two, three, four, five. 
So that would leave seven discards. That's what I would do. Seven discards would be a strong start for news with dragons in one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. If we could get a two crack, we could play one, two, three, four. So we have seven discards here, but really we probably have more like 10, probably more around 10 discards, but we do have flexibility, so I'm okay with that. I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write sprint two and what you would do. And we'll go on to the last sprint. Okay, we have ooze, ooze. For ooze, I would do maybe a year hand. And then down here, we do have a four, six, but we do have a lot of six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, five, five, six, six, eight, six, nine, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Pair of fours here. Five, seven. I think the fives probably can go. Let's see, seven, six, seven. Five, six, seven, six, seven. Look at all the six, seven here. Okay, this one was kind of hard. I'm gonna lap it though. So I would play the news year hand here, and then I would focus on five, six, seven, or six, seven. We could do maybe six, seven, six, seven concealed pung hand. If we get five dots, we could do six, seven, eight, nine, five through nine. If not, these would be joker bait, and I would, I would discard these right here first, regardless. Here, six, sixes. We could maybe even play like numbers with sixes. I would keep it all, keep it all until we run out of discards because we definitely can't keep all this. Really, we probably have about 10 discards with joker bait, but I'm okay with that. Let's see how things went with time. I think I made it, which is a good thing because I'm gonna be playing in a tournament soon. If you're gonna be playing in a tournament, give this exercise a try because it really does help. It's helped me a lot, especially with the anxiety because I find that I make really quick decisions and then I can rest easy. So, sprint one, one minute 40. Sprint two, one minute 34. Sprint three, one minute 57. Just a couple seconds to spare on that last one. And, I, and this last one I think was kind of hard. You always want to check your discards though. If you have eight discards or less, that's ideal. If you have options in joker bait, that's okay. You don't, don't want to have too many options though, because you could option in all the tiles and that really wouldn't be realistic. So be reasonable and give it a try. Let me know if it helps you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Siamese sprints for American style using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.